first competitor needs no introduction. Hodger Gracie, uh, Gracie Baja, uh, trained a lot with uh, Sean Williams here at uh, Hinzo's Academy, and he is going against Leo Leitch, representing the Braza team. So this uh, should be a battle royale. Um, Leitch, black belt in uh, judo and Pan American champion in judo. So uh, on the feet, maybe a little to Leitch uh, on the ground, a little to Hodger. What's your thought? Well, I'll tell you what. I, I I've seen Leo Leitch in, in in action. I was down in Brazil for the Worlds, uh, both of the times that he won, '99 and 2000. Uh, he's been away from the tournament scene for a long time, but he's solid guy. He gives everyone. Uh, a hard times, got great takedowns, um, but he's got his hands full because uh, I know Hodger very well. We trained together at Henzo's, and uh, he is a monster. Uh, and he's the two, 2004 to 2007 super heavyweight black belt champion. Hodger's first year at black belt, the ultra heavyweight, but uh, this seems to be his game and his class. Yeah, I, I think uh, Hodger is the man to beat. Um, he's his basics uh, of jiu-jitsu are all, they seem almost indefensible. He mounts and cross chokes uh, nearly everyone. It's, a, it's amazing. And, uh, and I think I've brought this up to you, you know, to, to possibly augment my game a little bit, but it seems like uh, what Hodger uses to finish his opponent is the same thing that you learn your first day in jiu-jitsu. That's true. Where your objective is to take your opponent down, pass his guard and mount, or if you get taken down, procure a close guard and finish by a collar choke, arm lock, or a submission from a closed guard. And he does it, and just like you said, it seems indefensible. Yeah, he's, 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 he's quite the tactician. And you know what I really like uh, lately is that Hodge has been working a bunch on his judo. I've noticed a significant difference on his, on his grip fighting, on, on his takedowns. He's, stu he's studying judo now at the, at the Budokai in London, which uh, pr put out some of the, the all-time judo greats. Uh, uh, one of the guys that supposedly have the best arm lock of all time, Neil Adams, uh, he was there. Lots of extremely talented judokas there. And this should give him a little bit better, although, whoa, nice, uh, nice Osotogari attempt by Leo Leitch. You know, you, you, hats off to anybody that wants to do a stand-up judo game with a Pan American black belt champion in judo. So, uh, I mean, that's a that's a testament to Hodge's dedication to the sport and the craft because he's continually studying and making his game better. This guy's incredible. Yeah. He, they're really having a, a nice grip fighting. Hodge's going with, he's really trying to establish that power grip over the top. He's also doing a great job of controlling Leitch's sleeves and not letting... Leo Leitch get a grip on with his lead hand. There is wow, nice Soichigari try. Uh, there it is again, and he's, he's really combining well. He's trying to Oichigari into almost a Haraya Ghosh, which is then trying to turn into Sotogari. But uh, really nice grip fighting by both guys, and good, good skill. Now Leitch beat, beat uh, Gabriel Vela in the semifinals by points, which is uh, a feat unto itself. So this guy comes... Uh, well prepared for this battle. Yeah, he's ready to rock and roll. And Hodger beat Eduardo Tellis, uh, the Turtle Guard champion, by advantage in the semifinals. Yeah, that was a close one. That Hodger. was oddly close, and I would have put Hodger winning that in dominant fashion if I would have didn't see it myself. Yeah, they fought several times, and Hodger's, you know dominated most of the performances, but that was a very close match. Hodger's stalking Leo Leach down. Now, Leo Leach has a good uh, front lead control on Hodger. That's a little bit dangerous. He's not, he, doesn't, he wants to protect that front arm on, with the gi there. There was plenty of time left, seven and a half minutes, but uh, Hodger's down by an advantage right now. Yes, for that near takedown. Leach is looking to get that collar. Like I said, they're both doing great grip fighting skills here. Hodger needs to be careful of his right arms a little bit. Uh, near his waist there to see him be a little bit better defensively that. Now if you put ego aside, because obviously Hodger would love to win the judo game standing up, strategically, where do you play this game if you're Hodger? Do you take it to the ground immediately? I, I think uh, I think if I was Hodger's coach, I'd like to see him just jump the close guard. He's got such a great close guard uh, for a tall guy. Uh, he's, you know, submitted, well, he broke Jacare's arm, even though Jacare won the tournament. That was, was nasty that, but, looking. But, but yeah, he has a tremendous close guard. 
Uh, my arm's been hurting ever since I saw that. <laughs> and I just saw it on TV. That was crazy. <laughs> so I'd, I'd like to see... Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I'd like to see Hodger play on his feet as well, but I think his close guards where he really could could take the, the match. And you know what I was saying earlier? Even though it's not a strong point, I admire the guy that gets into a game where he's outgunned and he still wants to see where he stands. And that's what Hodger's doing. Yeah, I think Hodger's uh, proven himself. Uh, he's won several world championships. I think now he wants to prove it to himself rather than everyone else that he can play wherever he wants and work on a weaker part of his game in a tournament setting and, re and really try to open up his, his standing skills. Out of bounds, you can move it back to the center. We've got five minutes and 30 seconds left, and the score is still H up by one advantage. Inside control with the left arm is a good idea, but Leach is kind of closing that door there a little bit. They're, you know, they're fighting for, for elbow position on, on Hodger's left side. And he's really trying to defend those grips because a good judo guy, as soon as the grip is made, there's not a split second left. You're in the air. You got that right. Grip fighting is the most overlooked, the most important part of, of fight, takedown fighting with the gi. Uh, and when you're trying to control your limit. It's a very <laughs> important part, grip fighting. <laughs> Right now we're right at the midway mark, five minutes left. And the score is still Leitch up by one advantage. At this point, I gotta say, Hodger needs to take the game to war. He has an advantage, which is the floor. I mean, do you agree with that? I agree. I think he's five minutes, plenty of time uh, to get to his guard and uh, go for a submission or a sweep on the Leitch. And not let this get too late where, you know, Leitch wins in the final seconds. Where there's not enough time to actually put your game you know, implement your game. That's right, Hodgers had that happen before, so he's played the stand-up a little too long, and that guy's won right at the end, so. I always have to be cautious of that. There's the takedowns. And that's two. And so the Gari. That's two points awarded, so it's two to zero, and one, one advantage to zero. Leitch. That's right, now we're and that's what we were talking about, maybe a tactical error on Hodger's end. And, you know, he, now he's on the bottom. And if he would have put the, the, the match there from the get-go, maybe he'd be 0-0 zero to zero on the bottom. But uh, he's skilled enough. He's been in trouble enough and, and still come out the victor. So Talk to me about the fundamentals of his game. Where's he going from here? Uh, probably to his closed guard. I mean, he, he's got a great game all around. I, I think that he's probably looking to get to the closed guard on, on, on Leitch. And, you know, here, here it comes. This is a danger zone for Leitch. And he sweeps from here. Hodger sweeps from here with that knee in the middle. He's going to cross the grip that might. Here it comes. He's going to hip over the left. He's going to sweep. The there it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. And he's going to get to the top, and that is two to even the ties. Now, Hodger's down by one advantage. Well, this is where you do not want Hodger. So your knees smash to the side and him passing, he feels like a freight train. Well, it depends on who you're a fan of. I'm a fan of Hodger. I, I want him in that position. Yeah, this is not if I'm on the bottom. This is not, <laughs> not if you're the one getting smashed. Right. Well, he's got three minutes left, and he's down by an advantage. So he needs to make something happen. Here comes the Mount oh, right away. Okay. This is a nasty position. Now, personally, I've never seen anybody get out from Hodger's Mount. Uh, you've trained with him. Uh, quite frequently at Henzo's uh, famous academy. Um, what is his mount feel like? Uh, it's a. It feels like a huge fat guy on top of it, huh. even though he's not fat. Yeah. I, I, I'd, I'd rather be uh, stuck underneath a bus than uh, on the bottom of Hodger's mount. And you, you're quite right. Not too many people have got out. Once he gets mounted, uh, he's so tall, long, and he, he uses his body so well that here comes here comes an arm lock. He'll tell you what's coming, and he's still going to get you. And you still can't defend it. Now, Hodger, as in the old school fundamentals and principles of jiu-jitsu, when he gets mounted, he makes it so painful, you're forced into making a mistake. You no longer focus on controlling and defending your arms, and you end up giving something away. Nobody's getting out of that mount, and they're going to lose an arm and be choked. Yeah. And here it comes. Leitch is a strong, strong guy. Uh, yeah, technically strong as well. He's a, an avid competitor, but you see the difference. It just Hodger is just not moving. And here comes the cross choke. And probably. he's insisting these submissions. Yeah. 
and he will cross choke you from here. He, he's got a, a mean cross choke, a mean arm lock, and he's planted on there. He he's seems, got one hand in deep. One hand's in. Is he going to try and walk the other hand around? I think he's going to land this as soon as Leo is a little bit busy base and he's taking a cushion. grip right now. The second's clicking off. Are we going to get a submission out of this fight? I think Hodger wants to end by submission. He likes to finish. That doesn't look good. Uh, uh, maybe not. Let it go. The crowd is chanting. They want a yeah. submission. i got to tell you, so do I. I'd love to see it here in the finals with these big guys. I'd love to see Hodger finish this. Well, I think that's one reason why, you know, Hodger has so many fans. He does finish. He finishes matches. He really tries to finish the the match. He's, he, he's not just about points. And... Well, he's got 50 seconds, and that's plenty of time for a guy like this. Lynch is doing a good job of defending with that right elbow and that hip. If he takes that right, right elbow inside that hip, he's in trouble. He's doing a good job of keeping his elbow out right on the cusp of Hodger's hip to maintain that he keeps off balance him. Now his elbows are getting a little high. 25 seconds left. Hodges going for that cross choke. His head is on the ground. I can feel the squeeze from here. He's gonna. This may be clear. It might be. He's passing. He's got to get that elbow in front of the head. Those legs look a little up to me. There's an advantage for the attack. Two seconds. He's gonna. And there he goes. He, he taps his he time tapped with out. one second left. Yeah. He tapped with one second left. Oh, ultra heavyweight of the Mundials. Once again, Hodger Gracie. Wow. Ah. 2004 to 2008. But uh, Leo, hats off to Leo Leach. He's, uh, he's coming back after a long layoff of, of tournaments, and uh, you know his takedowns looked phenomenal. And uh, he hung in there for, for almost 10 minutes with, with Hodger, which is a pretty big feat in, in and of itself. And you know what? He just lost with a position that's taught in the first day in jiu-jitsu. Yeah. The cross choke from the mouth. Yeah, it just goes to show you how important every lesson you learn in jiu-jitsu is. Your first lesson could be what you're winning the World Championship Black Belt Tournament with. Some right. of the greatest in the sport do just that. The fundamental principles of jiu-jitsu take them uh, to gold medals all throughout their belts. Well, great job for Hodger. That was an excellent match by Hodger.